Partners are here today, our partners are here today, our vendors are here today, and we are all in this house. So what I'm going to do, and I really need you to raise your voice when I'm going to do this, I'm going to say, Simon says, salt is, uh, is salt in the house? And then I want you to say, salt is in the house. And so we're going to go. Okay. You're going to give it a go? Good. Is salt in the house? Yeah. No, Sonia, salt is in the house. <laughs> Majestic Dame, always misbehaving. <laughs> All right, okay, let's get try again. Uh, is salt in the house? Salt is in the house. Is Grand in the house? Grand in the house. Is MICT in the house? MICT in the house. Is CES in the house? CES in the house. Is Microsoft in the house? Microsoft in the house. And is the Prada in the house? Prada in the house. All right, awesome. So thank you very much for that. I'm going to start off um, now with the Prada. So you can see our pretty little advert there with the not so impressed uh, gentleman on the screen. So I'm going to start off today just by telling you uh, or giving you a brief history of where our Prada came from or actually the conception of it. A couple of years ago, Salt decided to go through a whole cultural transformation process which is familiar to to many of our customers and stakeholders it's something it's a thing um, that that companies go through because you realize that your employees are not behaving in line with your company values so management and executive we go off on retreats we drink wine we have fun and we come back with a fantastic strategic document or a strategy and aligned with that strategy, there are certain values we want our people to, um, to behave according to or to act. And then they don't. And then management and executive get very um, sad. But what they forget is that that document and those values that are on the wall, they're just there. They, 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 they're just there. And I think the biggest hit we took is when our own Majestic Dane did a survey where we asked the Salties, what are our values? Because there was misalignment. They were not behaving the way we thought that they should be behaving according to these values, which, by the way, is challenge, empower, and impact. So they were not behaving that way. So Sonia did a survey and where she asked, what are our values? They, they couldn't answer that. So then we went on an expensive, um, an expensive uh, experience of branding the values. I'm not just putting them on the wall. They were like stuck against every window of the boardroom. They were everywhere. We started using it in our language. And yet, uh, not so much. Okay. So then I had a bright idea. I said, well, you know what? We have got all these fantastic subscriptions as part of our Microsoft um, our subscription, all these services. Let's use an application called Microsoft Form to at least start with the Rate My Service and put it in our signature. Because you know, most people, when they have email communication with you, they're either going to have a good feeling or a bad feeling about that experience with your employee. And at least we can then get some feedback on, you know, is, is, the, is, it, is it improving? They're acting according to the values. And that was fine and great, and we sat there at Employee of the Month and Onsge Om sessions, and we checked out this Excel spreadsheet that Forms would give us, but it was cumbersome and it was only half of the story, because the other half was the internal communications. And I'm sure most businesses and organizations can confirm that's actually where the big problem lies, and that's where the, 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 the failure in service delivery many times happens, is because of internal communication. So then we decided, okay, we need the input of internal as well, right? My service is not good enough. And then I went missing out of the process for a while because um, it was taken over by, by Arnu, Sonia and, and Jaylee and they'll probably tell you about that part of the experience later. But where I did get involved again is when we started testing a product. So we used it internally, we use it for um, employee of the month and what it actually does for us is it gives our employees and soon to be the customers as well a place where they can react and where they can give feedback on employee behavior. So uh, for us internally, you many times, more so than the customers, recognize when people are acting according to your values. When someone helps you out. Vicky drove me to Riobos the other day because my driver's license expired. 
um, you know, that is that that's once your own behavior. That is that is really good. You know, and, and I'm definitely going to give you a, a product for that one. <laughs> but that's the type of thing you want to recognize, and you also want your employees to be recognized for it on a public forum. So every month we do employee of the month, everybody's in the boardroom, we pull up this thing and I'm going to show you what it looks like. And there it is. You are the employee of the month because you behaved according to Salt's values. And that's how you reinforce behavior. I don't know who's familiar with Pavlov, the dog trainer. Okay, so you get a lot more bees with honey than you do with beep. And it's really, really true. So that's how we are reinforcing positive behavior or that behavior that aligns with our company values. And that is what a product was really built for. All right, so this is um, the ratings app, a product. It's fully customizable, so at a fee, of course. Uh, we will, um, if you want your branding, your logo, your imagery, everything, we can put it there. It's accessible through Teams. That's a big one for us because you'll see from our next session that if you can move most of your collaboration from email to Teams, you are going to save eight hours a week. And I know I have a customer here that's already I. Don't make those promises, <laughs> but it's really, really true. I've experienced it myself. So with the product living in teams, it's super easy when we are internally collaborating, working together to go and rate your colleague. So how it basically works, oh yeah, okay, it's not only available in teams, it's also in the browser, um, also available on the mobile device. Okay, so I'm going to, and I was gonna give Vicky that rating, so let me just do it now. So you can uh, rate either a team, a department, or an individual. I'm going to give her five stars. She deserves it. And she will know what Reable stands for. <laughs> okay, that is it. And there it goes. So real time now. Um, on the back end, there's Power Automate stuff going on. Um, uh, and some other things, some interesting things that technical people can tell you. But basically what ha is happening now, it's going for approval to Vicky's manager. So this is just to avoid maybe some people ganging up and saying, oh, we want to, you to be employee of the month because then we can share the, the, the reward at the end of the day. So the manager must approve it. But once it's approved, you'll see um, it'll pop up here. Then you can see the reason for rating. So every month an employee of the month, this is what we do. We go through the reasons for rating. And then what is super awesome about it is no more Excel spreadsheets, no more emails. Okay, so this was for March, just as an example. And clearly there you can see Jaylee was the employee of the month. Okay. All right, so that's it for my bit on a Prada. Um, and how it uh, actually aligns behavior that we want to see in our employees to our company values. Thank you. Thank you, Vanessa. Ladies and gentlemen, are we intrigued with Aprada? Do we find the concept interesting? Any questions to Vanessa? Questions from our audience? None. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I forgot to say that we also have, to my right, probably your left, a free trial booth. This is where you can go test a product. You can book sessions with our speakers this morning, individual sessions for breakaways. Um, so as soon as the speaker is done, you can go to the booth, hook up with that person, and then collaborate with that person individually. Okay. Our next agenda item is Microsoft Teams. And again, Vanessa asked for water, so I believe you are all watered up. Vanessa will be presenting Microsoft Teams. But, all right, so I'm going to go through Teams. Uh, I mentioned in the previous session that uh, we are um, living in a world of email. Email is causing anxiety. Email is causing problems. Who's come back from a day or two leave and had 300 unread emails? Who's missed important communication because the unread mail was down there? 
Yeah, okay, so email, big problem for us, and Microsoft recognizes that. Um, again, Microsoft doesn't just think up these wonderful ideas because they think that it's nice for them to, to disrupt our lives. Everything that they built into their technology is based on customer feedback. So people were telling Microsoft, you know, it's too many apps, I can't do this email thing anymore, it's unmanageable for me, I am, you know, it, it's causing anxiety. So I'll talk a little bit later in the Viva session about the great resignation, uh, cancel culture and those things, but a part of how we can make the workplace a better place for our employees is actually to start moving away from email. So if we can keep email for just external collaborations and communications and we can switch to Teams, um, then that's where we're going to start seeing the real relief for our people. Technology is it's moving so fast, it's difficult for us as humans to keep up. So no, the AI will not uh, turn into Terminator and kill everyone. Not yet. At this point in time we can confidently say that. Let's, let's talk about it again at the next time. tech huddle. Things might have changed exponentially. But at this point in time, it's there to help us to do the heavy lifting. All right? Things like ChatGPT. So where does Teams fall into this beautiful picture? Um, and where does the eight hours come from? So I want to also ask if anybody has ever got annoyed, especially if you're not an administrative person, got annoyed with the fact that you have to open the Word document, go and save it as somewhere on the file server, then you go and attach it to an email as version one. Then you email it out to, to people to do their contributions. Each one does their changes, saves it as version Michaela, version Chris, version this, and it comes back to me and I have to merge and compile all of that. Painful time-consuming, sore, really, and that's when you start also getting anxiety because you were not employed to do that. That is a tool that is used to actually support your core activity. That nowhere, it does it say somewhere in your job description that you have to attach the Word document and save it as a version? No. Mm -mm. So, how can we use Teams to support us so that we can break free from those tedious tasks? The idea behind Teams is that for your organization and even for external collaborations, you can do everything into te in Teams. You do your document sharing, absolutely everything you do in Teams, and I'm going to high level and, and, and at a fast pace show you that because we are uh, wanting to give vision some time. But like Chris mentioned, I'm going to be at the empowerment stand. There's a QR code you can scan in if you want a specific session around how Teams can, or what it can do for your organization. So, teams, you have teams for departments, you have teams for groups, we have one for management, we even have one for in each and every one of our customers and we do our collaboration on that. Here at the top you have the activity button, you see the activity button, the nice thing about the activity button, I'm going to tell you a funny story and some of my customers that are here, I'm sorry if I'm repeating but this is really true, WhatsApp is a wonderful thing. Number one, WhatsApp is part of the meta group. The Meta Group owns Facebook, Messenger, Instagram, and WhatsApp. And I don't know if anyone followed the news a couple of months ago that if you are, you are subscribing to that wonderful free service, by the way, they were hacked and your contact details have been sold on the dark web. And we wonder why cybercrime is such a big problem in this country. It's a free service. There is no such thing as free. That's why we pay for our Microsoft licenses. We pay for our checkpoint licenses. All right? You are always paying in some way. Good. So what happens with WhatsApp, and I'm going to do a personal experience here, there is a bri Friday. No, Saturday. The bri will be Saturday at 2 o'clock at my house. I'm inviting all the salties and some of the customers as well. Woohoo! Woohoo! So Monday I'll start the group on, on WhatsApp, and during the week it's been decided this one will do this, and this one will do this. Vanessa will bring the wine, Chris will bring the sausage, and so on and so on. Friday night, I am very tired because I did tech huddle this week and I go to bed early at 9 and I wake up the next morning and there's like 50 red ticks. And those 50 red ticks, um, it's like, yeah, scrolling, okay, whatever. And everybody rocks up at my house at 2 on Saturday and um, yeah, so, uh, uh, yeah, okay, in this instance, 
Let's make Chris bringing the wine. Yeah. It was decided that I should bring the wine and Chris should bring something else. But the point is, I missed the communication about who should be bringing what because it's just generic. Those little red ticks don't really tell you specifically who should be doing what. So the bride was a disaster because there was no wine and the bottle stores were closed. Um, but yes, what Teams does for us, Teams does for us that you can, you can chat with yourself which is super awesome, there's me, chatting to myself, okay? <laughs> um, but it does, what it does for you, if you use the at mention sign in your chats, then it is actually going to uh, give a little red tick to the person you're at mentioning. So instead of sending an email with lots of people in that email and trying to make actually going to uh, give a little red tick to the person you're at mentioning. Mention them in there, if you do it in Teams, they're not going to get that tick if it's not meant for them. All right, so uh, like I said, Teams is there for uh, departments. It's there for um, basically uh, any type of collaboration you want to do. And the good news is that if you invite someone to your team, if they're external, they don't need a license. They don't need a license for Teams to collaborate with you in Teams. Good. So this is just my general demonstration team I'm showing you here. This is the post section. So in the post section, this is where we can chat and add mention um, and do so safely within the, the, the security of Microsoft. Here I've got my file section, under my file section. Now I don't need to go and open the word and save as and whatnot. I can do it directly from here. And it does the saving and just ask you for the name, everything on the back end. Okay. Then you can also plug anything else into Teams that you like, any kind of app, even websites. So if you're thinking about cybersecurity and you're afraid of those uh, phishing emails, instead of relying on emails and things like that, you can actually hook up the, your, your banking websites, anything you can put in Teams, anything that's relative to that team. Unfortunately, no, you can't hook up WhatsApp for the reasons previously mentioned. <laughs> All right, but anything you can do, this is really very high level today, but we're happy to engage with, with anyone who wants to know more. You have a channel calendar, and the beautiful thing about the channel calendar is now you don't even need to go to Outlook anymore. You schedule it from your channel calendar. Oops, I already have one. You schedule it from your channel calendar and um, it's going to pull in everybody's availability that's part of that team uh, and you can just use your channel calendar and what is also another beautiful thing is it's going to keep records so you know now currently you have to go look for the recordings and savers and whatnot and they expire. If you do it in channel calendar it's all going to be part of your chat and um, the entire history of the meetings for that team will be retained in your chat. So there's lots more you can do on Teams. Um, the beautiful thing about it as well, if you are having it installed on your mobile phone, then you can literally work from anywhere as long as you've got internet. You can word on a, work on a Word document within Teams um, from the doctor's office while, while you're waiting. Your kid broke their toe and now it's taking away from your work time. So now you can update that Word document from, from anywhere. Good. That was me and that was Teams. Thank you so much.